this week on What's the Remedy Podcast. Hey, right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to What's the Remedy Podcast. It's your boy, Dr. J. Mr. Wash. Ashley Ray. And this is your weekly conversation over mental health, social issues, and all the other things plaguing society. We are your prescribed and subject to toxic masculinity. It's What's the Remedy Podcast. How's everybody doing? Great. How are you? I did that without looking, just to let you know. Because I was like... I was gonna pull it out, and I was like, "No, I can't find it. I couldn't get to the pen fast enough." So, yeah. it's all good. I got the tag. Um, okay. How was y'all's weekend? Week, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while. Actually, we've seen you for like two weeks. Yeah. I, damn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you you were big, big busy out here. Uh, you know. <laughs> you, know <laughs> you know what? You just can't you say know. you know. You know. You know what? Man, work, life. Life been tough, man. What? Tough. But it's cool. It's getting better. I'm getting better. You good? Life yeah. is getting better. Nothing feels better than this. Than life. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. I'm still I'm happy, alive. I'm happy you you feel good about your life. They knock me down. I get back up. That too. That too. You been in any like big events or anything? And I mean, like period. Since I we ain't seen you in two weeks. Period. Say again. Period. 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 Um. Did I do anything this past weekend? No, I guess not, honey. Because you just kind of overlooked it like that. Yeah, it was a birthday party. Yeah, it was a rainy weekend. Oh, yeah, it was. But I went to a birthday party. Oh, yeah. That was it. Yeah, no, I I was chill this weekend because, like you said, I I mean, I had to go run some errands like Saturday, but Mm -hmm. Sunday it was raining and like a storm hit out of nowhere on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I I say out of nowhere, but like I said, I don't watch the news enough. That helped me go to sleep. I I know, I did sleep good. That was a good storm. I didn't sleep go to sleep till five. No. Yeah. But the power kept getting knocked out at my house. I had a bill. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you right. Matter of fact, you right. No, but like I had to keep resetting the damn box. So like everything. Let them just go out. That, you know. I got to go to work. Yeah. Like, 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 like yeah. This Saturday, I don't. You use your clocks for real. You don't use your cell phone. I no, because I my cell phone alarms they too easy to turn off. Oh, so, you really use a clock? I do oh. both. Uh, yeah, you I have do. a clock too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, nigga. I got like four I got four alarms that go off on my cell phone. Yeah, and I have like an actual alarm clock, like a physical alarm clock. So that's the one that really wakes me up. I'm gonna wake up for my money. Anything else? No, I, I do both for the for the reason of uh if the clock uh let's say the power go out, they might not got the clock. So I use my my cell phone is there. You're but, old. but if my cell phone let's say my cell phone don't charge. Right. And then that shit don't go off. Got the clock. My cell phone always charge. That's not like you. Well, sometimes yeah, it's always charged. Talk to your nigga. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She keep it on the charger while she had a late night conversation. Yeah. When you laid up in the bed, you gotta kind of lay with the with the phone. With the oh, charger. I don't do that. You gotta go to sleep. Nigga, you be up no. talking to your boobs. I don't have no boobs. Not not actually saying. <laughs> sometimes. 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 Or sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hot girl summer. Both hot, hot girl, girl summer. summer. That, it don't even count no more because all the hot girls that say that shit that are tied down. Yeah, booed up pregnant. Booed up pregnant. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm actually cool. I'm gonna try being single for uh, a whole year. Yeah, I'm gonna try being single for a whole year. Yeah, I'm gonna try being single for a whole end of this year. Whole end of this year. So, like, for the next six months. Let me stop lying. Uh-uh. You, you, ain't, you can't be single for six months? I mean, I was single before. I just had. You had boobs. Maybe. That means you're gonna have boobs for the sometime within the next six months. Yeah, so I don't believe in relationships no more. You, yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You just had to run across the right one. So, hey, fellas, ooh. anybody out there that hears it, hit them DMs. No. Hit them DMs. I'm good. Stay right out them DMs. Hit them DMs. You know what I'm saying? Only that's for uh, make you invalid as a penis bit. Don't put that in there. Yeah, and she won't look at it. She won't open it. She won't reply back. Yeah, she, she does not do the penis bits, but you need to shoot your shot because Ashley just needs somebody to change her mind. That's yeah, what it is. Some nice message, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, offer my dinner, some money. Or something. Yeah, cash out. Cash out, you know what I'm saying? Cash out. Nigga, where the cash at? Ashley, Ashley gonna be out there. Ashley's gonna be right back out there in a the relationship. Why are you looking like that, man? I'm sleepy. Because she said she's ready. Yeah, Bash- she ready. <laughs> Bachelorette. Oh, yeah. Woo! See your thing. She be at the, at the way to catch the bouquet. Not yeah. the people over for it. Y'all don't know me. Really. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, I'm not that. Actually, girl. jumping over people. To get that doesn't mean I won't be out there. But I ain't trying to catch. That doesn't mean you gonna get married. 
but people that catch it, the people that really try to catch I've it, I've caught it before. To. I'm and saying. I ain't married, which is cool. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You just gotta be patient, my nigga. I know, but I got too many. I got a lot of friends trying to get a divorce right now, so I'm actually cool. I just think that you know you gotta run across the right one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm actually cool. Yeah, you cool. I believe you cool for now. But you cool. He coming. He coming. Don't worry. I can't take too much from you a man right now. Nah, I'm good. I'm full of shit. He coming. All men ain't full of shit. Most majority. All men ain't full of shit. The majority. Anywho, we can jump right into Show me a man thing. that don't lie. All right. I mean, everybody lies. Show me a person that don't lie. Anywho. Show me a person that don't lie. Well, that kind of goes into our topic. Okay, go ahead. Show me lies. No, so, <laughs> so we're going to jump right into the check yourself segment, I guess. Yeah, we're going to check yourself segment. We're just basically just having a conversation um, about different things that's kind of going on right now, but it kind of leads to this central topic of why we just can't be real with ourselves and other people. Um, I, and so basically it's like an honesty conversation. Well, it's kind of an honesty conversation just to the point of uh, people don't be real. Like I said, even when people start explaining stuff about um, about certain things, people say certain things like it's factual. Instead of instead of like giving the disclaimer like, hey, this is my opinion about something. People will tell you about relationships, or whatever. And like, this is what you need to do. This is how you're supposed to handle this, whatever. Like, no, you fuck, yeah, yeah. That, that works for you. Right. Yeah. That doesn't work for everybody else. Like, and that, that doesn't go for just relationships. That go for uh, people talking about how you uh, how you should talk about like your businesses and stuff yeah. like that. How you should live your life Getting spiritually or yeah, all, in all different facets of the world. People want to be right. They're just not real about it. They're not real. They're not real to themselves to be like, hey, I be fucking up. So this We're is really my gonna say that shit. But that's what I'm talking about. It's people not being real with themselves because they want to portray a certain. Who's really gonna say I fucked up. So so let's start with the first one. So like, why do you think that people think that their opinions are facts? Like why why what what is this? Because I don't feel like that's always been that way. I don't think that everybody always thought what I say goes like automatically. I mean I'm sure there have been people like that, but it seems like it's kind of universal now. So what do you think changed to make people feel like I have to state my opinion as a fact? Or do you think anything changed and it just... I don't think anything changed. All people have been doing it for years. Okay. No, yeah. I think I think it's always been there. I just think people are more receptive to uh, following what other people's things, whatever. Because I think we just live in a depressing time. Where um, it's the first time where we second guess ourselves, left yeah. and right, is more than any other time. I, I think that, and, and I agree, I, I think that one of the main things is just like psychologically, people kind of, they are... Um, drawn to people that they feel like are living a better life than they are so they like they're giving they give those people that are in that status or in that higher you know whatever plat, uh, pedestal that they put them on mm-hmm. like they give them this credence to be like hey I guess what I say really means because I have all I these followers. Right? Yeah. I have followers. followers I have people that say Got oh my money. god that that's facts my nigga like and what you just said was fact and, that, and that's part of the thing like so one of the phrases that people use a lot now is when somebody says something that they feel, they be like, oh, that's facts. facts. That's facts. facts. It's not facts, though. Like, it is facts. That's an opinion. They be like, man, that's a, that's a hell of an opinion, my nigga. Yeah. Like, they say something Fabian, like that. Fabian? That's a hell of an opinion, my Negro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, like, so I think that everybody kind of, when you hear that what you're saying is facts all the time, then of course when you you gonna start speaking like what I'm saying is like that's how I talk. That, that's it. Because it is facts. I'm fact. Like I, I spit facts, I, even if I, it's I, just an opinion. Not my opinion. But like I say, because the point that like, we all sheep, we all become more sheep now. Like I say, you looking for you looking for a shepherd. That's why if you look at our country as a whole, like you say with President Trump, or whatever, you have all these people like following him and really listen to what he said. You know you. They know he lying. Yeah. They want somebody to tell them what, what to, to do. do. Mm-hmm. And it's like that because because of their lives or maybe like you know saying downtrodden and they're living in poverty, whatever case may be. They want somebody to tell them like, hey, I can give you the good life. I can. I know what you need to do to be better. I take you to the water. Yeah. And I mean, the, I'll make you drink. I think the craziest thing about all that is that like because these people have you know so many people telling them that their advice or their opinions are facts and like all the shit they, they, they tell them that all the shit that they say is like legit i think it, it it diminishes the people that actually have credentials like people don't people will listen to somebody on their timeline on twitter before they'll listen to their doctor 
Like somebody on their time. Like, facts. They went through it. Doctors don't go through what I went through. Right. The doctor tell them, hey, man, you, know, you got a cold. Ain't never hurt. You, you got a cold. You might need to lay down. You might need to lay down and get some fluids in you, blah, blah, blah. Nah, but on Twitter, they said if I go run five miles, Yo. That's what that's what's gonna do it, cause that that helped those dude on Twitter, so that's what I'm gonna do. And so like, I Google it or Google it, and ne no, never Google, never Google your symptoms. Yeah, you have to everything. Yeah, cause you you have cancer. I, Googled, and I don't even know. I know. Yeah, you I Googled know, my symptoms yesterday. I was like, I'm dying. I Google myself now, like uh, my last uh, physical or whatever, mm -hmm. and I diagnosed myself with something. And then it's like you, you all right? It's just like slightly above. Oh. Yeah. No. High blood pressure all the time. Higher. But like I think I think that like we have to decide what is an opinion. Like what 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 constitutes something that's not factual? What's what's the difference between a fact and opinion? And that's what we need to establish. I know that we should know because I mean it's a given, but in today's society we gotta kinda figure out what's fact and opinion. So to y'all, what would you consider a fact? How, how do you how do you call something a fact? Like what 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 would you use to give that some type of credential? Mm, you have evidence to go along with the the fact, I guess. Or yeah, so, so in, in, you in, need in, some type of evidence. In, in, anything that's backed by evidence yeah. or uh, you know, certain information or whatever. To I like, know your grandma told you. This. Yeah, like like that's my evidence though. Right? Yeah, no, like like say anything like information whatever that says like say would it be a study or whatever case would be to back your, you know saying, yeah. your, your uh, situation or your your opinion theory. is oh me and you know like basically for example I always had friends tell me you got to cook to get a man to get married right. And that's they facts. I mean, that's, that's they facts married. For some they cook for that man. But I know people that don't cook for and like they and they too. they married. They married as hell. That's your opinion. That might yeah. Well, I I think that that's you know that's one big thing. Well, and and I was gonna say that because one of the things that people use for formulating these opinions is what they consider research. So like let's say you talking about your friends uh talking about you got to cook to be married. I mean, all the people, what if all the people they know have gotten married and all of them can cook, so they cook for their husbands and blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. So they evidence is that everybody's cooking. So why would that not be considered a fact? Because they have evidence to show that everybody I know is cooking. The evidence is we got to go to the man but, and ask him, not but, just them cooking. But that's also, that's also, you know what I'm saying, I forgot the scientific thing for it. But you're using a small sample size, you're using a small case study of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because in your circle that might be the case out of four or five different couples, whatever the case may be, in the grand scale, that could be, that's 5% of that's actually true compared to everybody else in the world. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. So, like people say, people, people like to, basically that goes to the point where people like to fit the narrative, the narrative to whatever they, their situation is. You know what? There was like a conversation. I can't remember what the argument was about, but I think it was on Twitter or something. But they were talking about, they were talking about something, and they were t saying that you know, this was facts because they they actually surveyed this group of people, blah blah blah, blah but they never discussed what the sample size looked like or whatever. And I and like I said, I can't remember what the conversation was about, but it was kind of like this: where we're talking about somebody having an opinion. And I have no facts to back it up, like nothing, no research, or whatever. And they're like, well, no, they, you know, they asked a bunch of people and blah 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 blah, and, and so we know that that's what it really is. But I think what people don't realize is when you talk about like actual theories and things that can be proven, the sample size is usually more random, and so people are using evidence from people that isn't so random. And so one of the examples that I gave them was, okay, so like let's say you want to know how people really feel about President Trump, right? So you stand outside of this white, predominantly white church in Alabama, and you stand out there and you ask them, hey, what do you think about President Trump? And everybody that comes out says, oh, I love him. I yeah. think he's doing great things for our country. I mean, I wish, I can't wait to see what he does to the border. I hope he gets all those immigrants under control. And so like all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay, writing that down. It's, oh, facts, facts, I got y'all. So they come back and they tell you, man, everybody in this country, I surveyed 100 people, and 99 of them said that they love President Trump. So 99% of this country loves President Trump. So would that make sense? No. Why not? You ain't even gonna ask anyone else, like of another culture, another like what where did you go ask? And that's not America. That's not you in one church. 
Exactly. So mm-hmm. I, and I think that that's that's where the 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 psychology the the, the whole idea gets lost. It's because like because niggas do it all the time. Like dudes would be talking about females and be like, man, all hoes love it when you talk crazy to them. Like and they'll say that, and and they will have evidence. They'll tell you. What's the evidence? Every hoe they talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every Christmas, I saw this chick the other day. They never talked to her. So yeah. reckless, nigga. She was at the house, you know, saying cooking for a nigga. You know what I'm talking about? As I talked to her so bad. Because. You know who to talk to like that. That's, you know the, but that's, that's the whole point. That's the point. That don't mean. It's like me giving him that advice. Whatever. That's the, all the people I've talked to, right? He goes to there with somebody and gets slapped. Slapped. Good luck. That's stuff. That's just, try that shit. based on, like I say, it's, it's, that's my opinion of the people I've dealt with. Right. But but if but if I've dealt with enough people, let's say let's say I've dealt with like twenty females, and all twenty of the females that I ever messed with, I talk greasy to, and like I and I tried talking nice to them, and they didn't really get no results. But when I talk greasy, all of a sudden they start doing what, what I tell them to do. Love it. Like, What's greasy? Reckless. Like you you call them a bitch. Oh no no. Like no. you know like because I, I know niggas that like have a bad mentality of women. And so like that, and they don't even have to say bitch. Like they, they could just be talk to you, talk to you in a, in a negative way, you know? condescending, in a, in a, in a, yeah, condescending, derogatory way, man. Yeah. I mean, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Where the fuck you think you going? Where you going? You know what I'm saying? Your ass better be at the house. You know what I mean? Why cook. you ain't cook shit? Who likes that? So a lot of people. It, 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 it's a, it's women that respond to that. I won't even say that they like it. I, I watch, say they respond. I watched to the it. girl I follow. She got a, a Facebook Live. This is like a couple weeks ago, and she basically said on there, it was like, hey. Um, I you have to talk to me raw a little bit because if you don't to do that and put me in my place, then I will run over you. Right. It's like that. You got to put me in my place. Like she say, like, I will try you. I will go. You know what I'm saying? I will go outside the house in the morning, or whatever, with my nightgown on, or whatever, or or I'm going out with my friends and like say my titties out, something like that. Right? Just to see what you are gonna say. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, if you talk to me regular, whatever, you just put me in my place. Like, hey, what the fuck you going? And put some clothes on this network, right? She was like, okay, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know what I'm saying? He he likes me like that, whatever. He wants to protect his and stuff like that. And I'm like, this shit is toxic. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but some people like toxic shit. Some of that little bit is like, oh, he kind of, oh, that's fucked up. See, so you, so you kind of yeah. like it a little yeah. bit. But you don't <laughs> like it. I don't like it. I don't you, like you don't it. like it, but you feel like So you kind of looking at me a little bit? Like you, you kind of, you kind of feel like it's it's part of, you know. You feel like look like you gonna wear that? Nah, you shouldn't wear that. But so you can't tell me like. I, 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 no, I, I, I think the issue with that is like, no, I think every dude wants to show off who they're with, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's the thing of, are you showing off like, hey, we together? Or are you showing off like you trying to pick up somebody new? Kind of thing. Pick up someone new. But but like but what we're saying is like sometimes it works. Sometimes talking like that to women works for some women. The problem is when somebody tell you, man, I got this girl, man, she ain't really responsive to me and blah, blah, blah. Like, beat her. Like, uh, <laughs> color what was it on the color purple? Beat you got to beat her. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but, but, but you're basing you. that on what you know. And so, to you, that's facts. This is this is a fact. This is what I know. This is what you have to do. This works for me with, with 15 different females I mess with. I beat the shit out of all of them and it all worked for me. Like, we all know that that's completely wrong. That's some pimp shit. That's like uh, was it Magic Don one on one of those uh film shows, or whatever? And because he, he said he was never like that, he, he's like people told him like, no, you have to let them know. It was like if um, if if uh, one of your hoes said they you ain't gonna do shit, right? They was like, if you say you gonna kill her, or if we gonna beat her half to death, it was like it's a time you gonna have to beat her half to death so she knows right that and it's like you might not want to do that, but you have to let her know because if you don't let her know, she gonna try. And and that that's not sound advice. But if that's all that you know, then to you that sounds like facts. Like that sounds like exactly what you need to hear. So like, well, I guess the basis is that we got to be able to know that okay, just because it worked for you and it worked in this circumstance, don't mean you need to go around telling everybody that. Like you don't need to say, yeah, man, I, I talk crazy to this girl, blah blah. She do what I say. That's what you need to do to that girl. And then and then the other thing, every person is different. It's not. It's like you say, me talking crazy to you. You might be a different female from what my partner, females mm-hmm. he talks to, but also what's in my partner heart is not in my heart. 
Sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? I might not be comfortable just really yeah. just talking regular like that. We, we just going off the stomach for this shit. Yeah, as far as him, he'd be like, no problem. Hey, bitch, where you going? I'm like, hey, yeah. bitch. Hey, say it again, no. Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah. Like, oh, we, we so, was that Boondock League? He said, hey, bitch. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, uh, what are you trying to uh, pimp they yeah. play back and trying to teach them? Yeah. <laughs> you got to tell them, bitch, get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, b- bitch? <laughs> nah. No, nah, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, you, yeah, yeah. It, it's multiple reasons why everybody's advice ain't going to work for you. Everything ain't going to be facts for you because... You're not the same person as them, for one thing. And the other thing is, you're not dealing with the same person they are. I'll give you another example. So, like, there's this other thing that came, that's come up on the timeline a lot, really, where people are kind of discussing, um, like, I think there was a tweet where a girl said that she didn't like getting uh, good morning and how'd you sleep messages. Like, she she posted that and then posted, like, an eye roll uh, meme or whatever. And like people were kind of having that discussion, and women were all like, "Yeah, that's facts. I don't like getting those messages." Blah, blah, blah. That shit. Not only that, but some those same women may love that shit from somebody, somebody else. else. Yeah, like, of course. Of course, it's, if it's a nigga you don't like, oh, then you gonna get a a, a good morning message. You be like, oh, this nigga. And you so you gotta wait cry. two hours to respond. Mm-hmm. Why do you got? If, if that's a, okay. That's a topic for a whole another day. But why do you have to respond? Like, why do y'all keep this shit going? I feel bad if I don't respond. That's crazy. No, that didn't make you feel some type of way. Yeah. I mean, it does, but I mean, especially like, if I get on social media, he's like, motherfucker, I, you yeah. just, I just hit you. But I mean, like, if you really don't like the dude, I think that you should probably open that. And that's why I say, how like, you tell somebody you like, like, I don't like you. Oh, don't say it like that. I mean, like, you could say it in a nice way. You could be like, you know, I'm not really interested. I don't think that this is really going anywhere. I mean, I, I don't know what you're really trying to pursue with me. But I don't think it's gonna be a relationship or anything. If you want to be cool, we can be cool. Cause once you give a man that, if he if he's, a, I don't know, depending on the type of man he is, he may respond to that and be like, oh okay, cool, she don't want me and move on. But other men might, you know, oh yo bugging, yeah, they might go off on you, or they may think, oh she trying to play hard to get. I mean, I need to try yeah, harder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> let me hit her a couple more times in the yeah. morning. So I got a picture. Some dude slid in my DM showing me a whole bunch of picture of money. Said, Ashley, okay, Ashley Ray, I'm feeling you. I want to give you this ten thousand dollars. Did you take the ten thousand dollars? Do it look like I took the ten thousand dollars? Oh, you tripping? Shit, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I take the ten thousand dollars. Like, I mean, but that made the in in the same response. I'm supposed to say I don't like you. You can say I don't say good. anything. Yeah, no, I just want to respond. But I'm saying, like, Weird in the same vein of what we're talking about, that that he did right there may have worked for somebody else. Yeah, probably. But I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, I, I mean, I would be too. I, I mean, you definitely should. Yeah, you take that money. What, else, what, the, what comes what, that what, money? what is he paying for? Nothing. My time. That's what you're saying. $10,000. That's what he's saying. Hey, what kind of time? You got $10,000. Hey, I got plenty of time. Whatever. But no, like, it, it's like, but people will tell you, like, if, if that happens and it works for them, they're like, oh, man, just flash some money at these hoes and it's going to work. It like, does. I mean, it, it does. It, it does work for some. Women like money. Look at these they ugly mean. ass rappers. You got beautiful side chicks, whatever you look, but these some ugly ass rappers. I mean, a lot of niggas got ch- Lil the Wayne. Baby ugly. ugly as hell. The baby ugly. No like way, ugly, and he got a baby mama all like all over the world, and some of the baddest baby mamas in that. Cause mm-hmm. money don't, money don't have no looks. Right? It, it don't, you know, money yeah. make you look good. Like I say, That's like true. Say, money don't make them look. I know we talking about like on the, the the women and the man kind of aspect, but also I want to talk about the uh, on the business side too. You have a lot of people want to tell you how you should do your business, how you how you should uh, advance in life and this and that because that's what helped them and. People take that as gospel, like, you know what, quit your job, nigga, you know what I'm why you working this, why you being this nine to five, and stuff like that, you need to be doing this and that. Mm-hmm. Now, that could be sound advice, but if you're not made like that, yeah, that's, not advice, that's, that's, that's not advice for well, you. You're not built for that depressed. Like, man, I had to quit my job trying to... Because And people do that, because that's another argument that comes up a lot, is people be like, yeah, y'all nine to five people wasting y'all lives, blah, 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 trying to work for the salary for some man, you earning that man more money than you could be making for yourself. Yeah. And, that, and it sounds good if you say, oh, yeah, well, I, I, I started a business. I started making all this money. You at work, you know, getting your little salary. I mean, it's cool or whatever, but somebody above you making money off of you or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. 
that's cool, but I may be cool with my salary because I know that I'm not about that life of, you know, working hard. Because having a business is hard work. But that's, but that's, but that's the confusing for, part for people, though. They like when somebody comes to you, like, man, I work for myself. Fuck all that. I'm not going to work for nobody. Do it on nine to five. That's cool. You're like, you know what? That's what's up. I feel you. What, what do you do with it, right? But then when they really find out what somebody else mm -hmm. does, they be like, damn, man, you work more than I was working at my job. Yeah. We got <laughs> it business. Like, it's like, you don't go to sleep. Yeah, because you can't can't afford yeah, to. You, you got to work. Like you, you, you don't have days off. You don't have vacation mm -hmm. time. You don't have none of that shit. Like all the PCO days that you get when you have a salary, you don't have it. You don't get that shit because you don't have no time to take off until your business is established. So it, and that may take you about five years. So you want to go five years of working Wait, almost three sixty five. It's worth it. Years. Yeah, if, if if you get to that point, if, five if you years. have that much consistency in your life, you know what I'm saying, and that much hustle in you. Yeah, yeah, it works out. But if you don't, then yeah, just get a job and chill. But I, I was gonna say I, I saw something pop up the other day. Uh, somebody had said, "Hey, don't don't buy that girl no shoes or not, something like that. Get her get her an LLC." Mm -hmm. And it's oh, like okay. <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, congratulations! Now she got to work eighteen hours a day." So like, okay. it, it's not really. Having a business isn't just like, hey, you start a business and then you just start. But you're your money own started. boss, and I think that's so much better. No, that's what I'm saying. Else comes but you, but, but, but you, but you, if, you if you're good at it, yeah. If you're good at it, if you're good at, at um, being self motivated and doing everything yourself, then yeah, do it. Self motivated. But, 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 I, 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 like the people, like a lot of times, the people that they do their own business and be like successful, or whatever. When they had a nine to five, or whatever, they bust their ass to do it. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying they was like, you're I'm right. all work this. Yeah, they was like, man, I bust my ass and I'm not making what I want. I'm not doing what I want, whatever. So when they switch to doing for themselves, they still have that work ethic to not just you sitting on the couch like. Yeah, I'm gonna open up a uh, clothing store. Yeah, like usually if they if they were working, they did like some of their best work. They just didn't feel like they were compensated correctly, or they they felt like they they didn't really like their job, but they they would work harder. But it's a job that they they really didn't like the things they were doing. Yeah. But they had the work ethic, and so when they transferred that over and were like, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna work nine to five no more. I'm gonna put all this energy that I've been wasting at work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use it for something. And then the first day they quit. They start working, like running around doing air. Like they, there's never a time you stop working. So you working literally. You go from working a nine to five, you know, get your little seven hours in or eight hours of work, and you switch that to being like I'm gonna work constantly from waking up six o'clock in the morning, going to bed eleven twelve at night, and I'm just working because I want to build my business. But it's a passion in you that makes when you never yours. stop. When it's yours, it's different. And you have to have that focus. And what we're saying is like. You can't really advise people because you can't teach focus. You can't teach mm. drive. You know what I'm saying? You either got to have it or you don't. And if you don't have that drive, then don't tell them to start no business. Like, if you, <laughs> it sounds good, but then you just you should just stick to your nine to five. You got to you got to take the you have to. And, and I guess the other part of this is besides people giving out advice that's unwarranted or, or not fitting for everybody, it's how you receive advice. You can't receive from everybody. You got to be able to say, okay, is that really me? You know what I'm saying? If we're talking about a business and they say, hey, quit your job and, and you know, pursue your passion, really research that and see, hey, am I the type of person that can wake up every morning at like five, six in the morning and work nonstop for 18 hours straight so I can try to build? I mean, not necessarily, and I'm being extreme, yeah. but at the same time, you I do have no to build. Sleep. No yeah. sleep. And you got to be able to network. You got to be able to talk to you. I know people that want to start businesses and don't like talking to people. Like they, they want to start businesses where they have to network and they don't like holding conversations. So like, how are you going to build a business and network? You can't talk. Can you find somebody else? But now you that's another conversation. Get a business partner that likes to yeah. talk. Yeah, like I said, but that's, that's also you going, trying to talk and find that business partner. Like you got to find all that in place. Like I say, if you know that best, that's understanding that that's not your lane. Yes. That, you know what I'm saying? That's understanding the whole grand scheme of things. People don't understand that. People are like, I'm just going to do it myself and blah, blah, And it's like, when you see what's all involved, you're like, I'm not about this life. Or I don't know too much in this. I need some help. And so, and so we got to have a plan. People just do shit. People don't have plans anymore. And, it, and like I said, it's just about how you take advice. It's like a, there's an old saying that says, like, you take something with a grain of salt. Yeah. Y'all know what that means? Or where, where, that, where that saying comes from? I got high blood pressure. I don't know. 
Nigga. <laughs> like, okay, so <laughs> basically like <laughs> it basically means like you gotta take take on the information and it, it may not be for you. It may not be right. It may not, you know, and, and they always say it with, when you're dealing with people that, you know, aren't necessarily know what they talk about. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, whatever he say, take it with a grain of salt. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, you, you take it in, but I, I think that everybody should take everything with a grain of salt. Like, you never know if that's really for you. They may know what they're talking about, but if it's not for you, if that if their business plan idea is not for you, then you don't take that with a grain of salt and be like, okay, uh, I, I'm ready to take that in, but let me, let me kind of decipher through it. Because it, it, it's not necessarily good advice for you every time. And I even in counseling, like when I talk to people, I try not to tell, like in counseling, I don't think that it's right to just give people advice. It, it's, it doesn't really work that way. It's kind of like... Right, my counselor's like, never tell, well, no, nah, she did tell me. I mean, you're going to tell, like, if you're doing something stupid. Like, if, you, if you're like... I ain't doing nothing stupid. What you trying to say? say? I'm saying, like, <laughs> like if, there, if there's something that we need to redirect, we can redirect. But I'm saying that, like, if it's something that's going on in your life and you're trying to make a decision, I'm not going to make the decision for you. No. What I'm going to do is, okay, let's explore you. Your options. Your options and explore you because there's something deeper than just your options. Mm. Besides your options, there's what fits you. What kind of person are you? Why would I tell you, yeah, go ahead and start that business and then we find out that you don't even like waking up in the morning? I'm not the type of person that's going to quit a job. I, I just can't do it. Why not? To go start a business? I gotta do probably both. Maybe I go part time. That that would make sense. But not just be out here with no income coming in. I think I'd be scared. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's we, fear. I mean, it's fear, but it's valid. But like, I feel like, damn, I still got bills. So let me pay this little bill. Let me save up, and still kind of like you never but, know on a rainy day what stuff might happen. What I'm supposed to do? What if I need for permit? I know what, friends that need what, money for a what, lot. What, of what, stuff. But that's the issue. Like I said, we hear the success stories of people that. And basically, bet on themselves and risk it all, whatever. And it's, but for every one person that that came up, there's like over a hundred of thousands of people that did the same thing and they ain't doing nothing. Yeah, that's like that. So it's I got like, a couple friends starting businesses, and they stress the hell out. And it's stressful. I mean, but like I said, it's a it's a risk over reward. Like it, it, there's there's a silver lining to all of it. To like if you actually get it to work, and but they got other jobs. I mean, I, the, at the end of the day, you want your little side hustle to become your main hustle. And so that's what a lot of people yeah. are trying to do. And that's, I think that's a good, sound way to go about it. But like I said, I would never give people advice in that way because I don't think that what I say works for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't think what you say works for me. There's no cookie-cutter way to do anything. Well, like I'm saying, you, you, can, you, can, uh, you can give it, like I said, you can give it advice. Give your opinion, you give advice to somebody, be like, hey, this is what I, I did. I wouldn't do that. This, you know what I'm saying, well, you decide, this is what I yeah. did, you know what I'm saying, and blah, 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 this is how I went about it, this and that. And if you take that and run with it, that's on you. But that's not me telling you, like, hey, you want to be rich, this. this is what you need to do. So do you have people in your life that tell you stuff like how you just said it? Hey, if you want to get rich, you got to do this. You got to get in here. Hey, we all you got to do the pyramid scheme. They, they got me. I got, I got got by a pyramid scheme. Mother, I and the only reason why they got me is because I trusted, like, my Bruh. Yeah, I mean, it, it's. I still want my 350 back, Bernard. <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know uh, on Facebook, when it's like, like a year ago, they had like a little pyramid scheme going on. Like, you know, it's like. The cash app thing? Or? No, it was like, what's the cash app? Yeah, you can cash app your money, 20 people, it's like that. Yeah. But like, this is a pyramid scheme. Hell yeah. But, but you're like, but you tell me, it's like, okay, yeah, I can make this this money, this $300, whatever the case may be, but basically, I got a sucker. Five other people yes. into getting into this, and basically, and basically, I'm taking money. My out cousin they had us doing stupid stuff like that. Like you moved up the pyramid. Basically, like, I said it's a pyramid. She's like, no, I, you get you put in a hundred dollars. Somebody else put it. She's trying to show me the circle. Oh, it's a, just a circle pyramid, bitch. You tried to take my money. Oh, that was the uh, I know what you're talking about. The circle of uh, they, they had a name for it. They had yeah, circle in it. Yeah. I hated it. It's like that. Still like, like it. I, it took me a year to get my hundred dollars back. You seen that episode of uh? Uh, the office when they were doing a pyramid scheme, like I, oh I yeah, he was doing it, but he was like Michael was trying to introduce it to people, and then Jim was like, "That's pyramid, That's a pyramid scheme." scheme. And yeah. He's like, "No, no, no, this is what you do. See, like you start with this person, then you get two people on. Yeah, and those two people get two people. And then Jim walked up to it, and he just drew a big pyramid around the people that he was drawing, and he's like, oh 
Yeah, it's a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme. I got caught twice, mother. But, but I've been trying to be nice to my family. But that's part of the thing, because pyramid schemes have worked for people. Yeah, she got like eight hundred dollars. The one that I got in uh, was Organigo, and so with Organigo, like you sell coffee, and so they they made it sound good. <laughs> like you sell coffee to these people, and like. You just uh you go and you go to businesses and then like you get people on oh, you bring actually. people on to your business mm -hmm. and then they sell coffee and then when they sell coffee you get paid off of the coffee that they sell and, and so it sounded real good and some people made a lot of money off of it like and if you got to a certain level they gave you like a bins i saw people getting business and everything yeah like for some people that shit was working but you had to be the person that was going to get everybody else Basically. Yeah, you have to be like, I'm going to, you know, that, that first at the top is going into like, I'm going to fuck everybody else. Everybody right, else. Right, so I can get my $500 yeah. bill. But, but to make themselves feel better, it's like, I'm going to fuck you over, but you can fuck some people over too. And, right, yeah, all and you need is fucking different. Keep it going. And that's how my cousin, she's like, girl, all you need is like eight more people. I was like, bitch, I don't talk to eight people every day. You only need eight more dummies, me people. Yeah, we just right. don't, we go ask some of the other family members. Man, it was all bad. But that, and that's like a that that's a great example of what we're talking about of just saying, okay, this is what works. This is gonna work for you too. Just do it. And then it don't work, and now you out. Like I'm, some people are losing thousands of dollars off nah, that stuff. Nah, I'm not yeah, because they're the bottom of the pyramid. Yeah, and so like they and, and I ain't they never been you, at the top. They give you that uh, what is it like a like an introductory packet, mm -hmm. and they be like, yeah, I mean, but all you gotta do is buy in with fifteen hundred. You put right. fifteen hundred up front. You know, you get your product. And then you bring somebody else in, and then when they do their fifteen hundred, you get a cut of their fifteen hundred when you right. get three people on. You might get about like, like that's, that's like, you get like three of them, and that's right. enough. You get your you get your fifteen hundred back plus some. Like yeah, you get another you get couple thousand. We're gonna throw in this car, this convertible, zoom zoom. And, and people, it worked for people. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't give advice. You can't bring people into something that works for you. You can advise people and say, "Hey, this worked for me. It may or may not work for you." I think that's the best way to, get, to give advice, to be honest. To be like, hey, this this That's actually how honest. I talk. That's actually, like, especially like relationships. I was like, hey, man, I did that before. I didn't drove past the house. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I did that. The house you just did good. the opposite of what I just said. Because you just told them, because you told them not to do it. Maybe they want to drive by the house. Don't do it. Maybe it'll work for them. Facts, nigga. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> that's facts, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I did it wrong. I just told my story. I said, I'll tell you, like, hey, my, my situation was way bad. So yeah, don't. now that's good advice. I always say that. I always tell why. Yeah, you say, for me, that didn't work. You can't say, don't do this. I do say, don't do it. It may or may not work for them. What if the driving out of the house works for them? I ain't giving them no they, damn option. Don't do it. Just say no. Well, I mean, actually, you are a person that, that deals with facts, so. Facts. <laughs> So we we will leave that to you. Everything I say is facts. Alternative facts. No, it's facts. Alternative facts. I'm Google it. Alternative facts. Google. Alternative facts. No. Yeah. What I say It's yeah. facts for real. Ask no. me. Ask me something. Ask ask you something about relationship. No, I mean facts. I got it. So like, okay, I, I don't have a question for you. I, don't don't get ready for a question. Damn. I was I was going to ask you. A <laughs> You you getting all uh, teed up and shit? No, no, I'm not gonna ask you nothing. Yeah, I always do. So, so I'm just nah. What the? Fuck? Anyway, the hell. No, but like I think that. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyway, no. Why are you looking at it like that? The reason. But like so, okay. So if we talking about giving opinions on, we we talking about businesses. We talking about relationships. <laughs> we talking about just. Life and everything. Like if you're, if you're giving information, it's cool to give information that you feel is helpful for yourself. But at the same time, when you're giving it, just understand that that ain't working for everybody. So don't. I, I hate that, and and I think part of this was like coming up with stuff on the timeline where people be like, all women do this, all men do that. That's me. I said that. That's what I'm, a lot of people. I wrote on Facebook. You vote on Facebook. I wrote on Facebook. Oh, I thought you said you vote on Facebook. I wrote on Facebook. Oh. Black men cheat more than I did in high school. Facts. That's a lot of cheating, man. But facts. you don't know that. That's not facts. I do know. That's there. My no record has shown. Your record. Right. That's right. all that matters. Prove right. my point. That is all that matters. Your record. 
your record is all you know. Black man. men do cheat. Black men that you mix with. And, and even even beyond that, not just your record, but like if you have friends that have been in similar situations yeah. to you, then that, that's still only y'all. That's only you and your circle. Nah. Like there are, there are people Them that are in healthy lying. relationships. They don't. They're lying. Everybody that's in a healthy relationship lying? Yeah. No. Facts. No, not facts. <laughs> 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 fucking facts. How you know what's healthy? What's healthy? What do you mean what's, what's healthy? What's a healthy relationship? Cause my shit may be healthy. I'm like, that's not healthy. No, like healthy is like no, not not being toxic towards each other. Not, not you might think it's other. toxic, but I that's mean, your opinion. If you're not hurt, if nobody's getting hurt, what if we toxic. like fighting? That's love. When he right. slapped me, that's, that's not toxic. toxic. No, that's not toxic. Do, do you feel toxic. pain? Toxic. Do you feel pain when he hits you? I feel love. Oh wow! Don't yeah. play like. Oh yeah, no, no, nah, you good. No. That's, that's all on you, man. That's all on you. Yeah. Let me stop playing that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, somebody gonna hit you and you gonna hit me. Somebody gonna hit me. I mean, mm 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 mm. How long? Yeah, no, leave that out. But anyway, so yeah, so it, it's. I think that if you if you look at just your circle, because I, I do this too, and, I, and I'll admit that I've done it, where like, I know that I'm like a because I had the conversation with somebody on Father's Day about, you know, fathers, you know, and they were talking about how, you know, father, a lot of fathers don't be there for their kids, blah, 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 but I'm like, but me and my circle, like, from my experience, we had good experiences with fathers, and a lot of the dudes in my circle, most, all the dudes in my circle mm -hmm. have been good fathers, like, they either married or even if they're not married, they take care of the kid, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so in my, if you're asking me, black men are there for their kids, like, they are good fathers. That's your circle. But that's what I'm saying. So I, that's why I say I'm guilty of it too. I know some niggas that ain't. Everybody does. But I'm just saying that, like, if, if you're going off of your, <laughs> if you're going off of just your circle, then you cannot call that shit facts. It's just what you. It's got. on Facebook. Hell no, it definitely ain't facts. It's on Facebook. <laughs> it's then on Facebook. It, people, people be reading the articles, and it, this is kind of off subject, but kind of on subject at the same time. People be reading articles on Facebook, and I be looking at them, and they be like reposting them and talking about them. And I'm like, dog, do y'all like look at the place where that article came from and not realize that, that shit is fake? Like they be like, oh my god, I can't believe this shit's happening in, in fucking Indonesia. And I'm like, dog, like that site don't even look real. That that that, that just proves the point that people are lazy as shit. That like we don't that, 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 that we, we don't read research. Research, like, investigate to be like, hey, you right. question stuff. Because there was a situation today. Um, like people in the sports, they're talking about like the Rockets, whatever, Chris Paul. Oh, Chris Paul, shit. Yeah, yeah. James Harden. Okay, what happened? Well, no, they're talking about like they beefing or whatever case may be, and people like, some people saying like they exaggerating the, the, the beef between them, mm -hmm. and some people how it's real. But, uh, um, what's that, Undisputed with Skip and Shannon Sharp? Uh-huh. Um, <coughs> Skip basically was talking about it, and he basically quoted, talking about like, yeah, they know, so they've been having issues, whatever, and he quoted somebody on Twitter that basically made a fake story. Yeah. And he quoted it on air. It was like, yeah, they've been having kind of rips. Like, there was one story I read, whatever, talking about uh, Chris Paul got on James Harden about his man boobs, whatever, and James got so offended that he left. Uh, he yeah. cried a little bit in the locker room and left. And, like, and, the, and people were, like, laughing on Twitter after that happened. It was like, nigga, you basically were, like, tweeted, like, you know, so responded on air to, like, a parody yeah, uh, like a troll Twitter, tweet. Like a troll tweet. Yeah. Oh. It basically makes it, like, factual. Like, you on live TV, this is your job to find out, like, not to put, like, false information out here like this. See, but that's but, kind of where we are, though, because yeah. the, the thing Fake is, news, Twitter, huh? Twitter, yeah, because Twitter puts news stories out so fast, and sometimes they write, like, they're correct mm -hmm. news stories. They get news stories out before the news does. So then sometimes the news is now going to Twitter for news, and so, like, every once in a while, Twitter put out some bullshit. But I ain't once in a while. A lot of the time, Twitter put out some bullshit. And so, like, when that bullshit hits the news, the news is like, I mean, we don't want to be late. I want I want to be the first Early, one with the yeah. school. So, yeah, you know. Well, like, when we lazy with stuff, like, the dude's account has some kind of, like, vulgar something in it, whatever, in his, like, at whatever mission. So it was like, you can tell clearly this was a parent account, but you didn't take the time to really just look at that. You just saw what he said. Okay. You gotta get it. You have to get your facts the fastest. Because not only do you want to have the facts, you want to have the facts the fastest. Yeah. And so, like, you're like, okay, oh, that's a, that's a new story? Oh, shit, nah, I, gotta, I gotta put it out. And the same, people do the same thing. I mean, it's worse because they're, like, you know, actual on-air personalities. But, like, I'm 
that's what I'm saying on my Facebook is that when people see a story that's like outrageous, they want to be the one to post it so they can get their opinion on it without even like really looking at it to be like, is this really even true? Like, is this is this reputable? Is this place that I'm getting this from reputable? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that they, I don't think that matters to people anymore. And that's what I was talking about earlier when I said people have gotten to the point where they don't even listen to people with credentials. Like, they don't understand what uh, peer-based review sites are, like, or, or not not peer-based, uh, peer-reviewed articles. Yeah. Like, I was I was seeing a conversation the other day where they were talking about peer-reviewed articles, and people don't know what a peer-reviewed article is. A peer-reviewed article is something that's, like, scholarly. So it comes from the university, it comes from the institute, and it's been reviewed by other professionals in that arena. In that field. In that field, so that they can be, you know, made sure that the theory is at least factual. Those are facts. Those are facts. When well, they're not facts, there's sometimes they're facts, sometimes they're theories, but they've been, you know, checked. They've been checked over by multiple people before they come out. Yeah. But people want to go to, like, XO Nicole for they, they of lose. Of course. Rather than, like, a peer facts. article. Because they're like, oh, that's, that's facts right there. Everybody believes when facts. that comes out of there. I'm like, why don't y'all, like, actually research? If you put cold water with some yolk eggs on your face, it clear up facts. It goes a who's <laughs> what? That's what I read. I mean, and I think that I think that one of the big things is that um, as we're wrapping this thing up, one of the big things is that everybody needs to kind of just take a step back and be like, okay, where are we getting our information from? Well, why are you lying? Is the information, and this is basically going to be the Wusai, because yeah. it kind of plays into it. Yeah. it. So Wusai, though. Anyway, so... <laughs> So one of the things that we really got to do is really start thinking about where we get our information. Really start thinking about the credentials and the reputation behind the things that we're listening to. Because I understand that so-and-so may have 100,000 followers and everybody loves them. And so when they say something, it feels like it should be the right thing because everybody they have, out of 100,000 people, they get 10,000 likes and agree and things on there. So like, oh my God, this must be facts. Because 10,000 people have agreed with them, so this has to be the truth. And that's not the truth. Like, it's, it's not necessary to fall in line with everything just because somebody has a lot of likes or has a lot of followers. You need to know, okay, well, what are their credentials? Like, somebody, and, and people, like, I'm not, you know, knocking anybody in their profession or whatever, but you have people that are like, you know, engineers. Mm-hmm. They are great at being engineers. That does not make them a medical doctor. Mm. It doesn't make them your therapist. It doesn't make them life coaches or whatever else they try. Like they, they put themselves off to be. Like they are great at engineering. That's their profession. Everything they do outside of that, or they may be great models, and that's why they have such a big following. Like everybody loves the way they look. They take great pictures. They do a good job of public, you know, being in the public image and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day. Just because they get that you see them a lot doesn't mean that every one of the memes and little quotes that they post is supposed to be facts for you. Mm-hmm. Like you have to actually know where that shit is coming from. Like if it's not somebody that has the the credentials, <coughs> or at least even if they have life experience, you have to take it with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? That that may be what worked for them, that may not be what works for you. And anybody that is really credentialed in those types of fields will let you know that. You should never just push something on anybody. But a lot of times, people in those positions push things on people, even if they don't want to, just because they push it out there and so many people are listening to them. And so now you got people that just are great personalities, but they are putting like a lot of misinformation out just because they have that kind of power. They can drop, sure. they can drop whatever they want to say, and people don't believe. It. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. So, like, y'all remember seeing the, it came up on Facebook and I saw it on Twitter, where they were burning the cheese with a, with a lighter. And yeah, to see if it was real, fake, yeah. And they were like, oh, look, this cheese is plastic because it's turning black when you burn it with the lighter. Yeah. Well, cheese, processed cheese is just, it has certain chemicals in it. The chemicals aren't bad. They're good chemicals. They, they hold it together, help it keep it shape. Cheese melts at a certain, you know, temperature. On an open flame, it doesn't get to get to that temperature. It gets there too fast, so it burns. Mm. And so, like, if you paid attention in your chemistry classes, you would know that. But First because of all, somebody I'm burning cheese, okay? So, so the people that were like believing it, 
I'm going to believe it just said, well, this video said that we shouldn't eat this cheese, and I don't know why y'all niggas keep eating that cheese. I believe it. <laughs> and I'll tell you another one. I seen one where they That's were mixing some uh, coconut syrup, right? Okay. The lady had a cup with some ice, and she had a little cranberry juice in there, and then she had a little bit of coconut syrup. She had a bunch of ice, only a little bit of cranberry juice, and put like a little bit of coconut syrup in there. Got a spoon, started stirring it, right? The frost is what it really was. Started coming up because it was the, the coconut rock was already cold. Mm. The only thing that's not going to freeze is alcohol. Yeah. yeah. So there's other things in coconut rock besides alcohol. Plus, you had all the stuff in the cranberry juice, everything. So she started stirring it, and like, it did, like you start seeing like these white flakes start coming up. And they're like, look at this. This is what y'all niggas are putting in your bodies because uh, this is plastics coming out of the rock. And blah blah blah, and I'm like, no, that's, Dang, that's you can't believe the videos no more. Like that, but you don't even have to. And you know what pisses me off about that is, and I think it pisses me off because I'm a teacher. Because these are the same kids when you be in class and they don't pay no attention to what you're teaching them. Because they teach you that in class. Yeah. They teach you temperature change and stuff like that in class, thermodynamics or whatever it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you, you learn that in IPC, like yeah. sophomore chemistry class. Exactly. Yeah, but. But like sophomore high school, you should be able to learn that. Don't remember sophomore high school. But they don't listen. Like these kids, I'm telling you, kids in class don't listen, right? So then they get to be adults, which are the ones that are around now, and they be like, oh, you see that video with the flakes coming up? Man, that's plastic, bro. You seen the plastic coming up? In Who the would video? do that? No, people that don't fucking pay attention. <laughs> don't that's listen. Right. You know what I'm saying? That cheese one scared me. I still was going to eat it, though. I was like, fuck it. It don't burn on the stove. Because <laughs> it, it gradually changes temperature. It's not yeah. an open flame. I make my grilled cheese. It's nice. Yeah, my grilled cheese come out great with some processed cheese. I was just like, I can't afford the other guy. <laughs> I'm like, you're what I can and the, and the thing is, because like, I, I was actually watching the cooking show the other day, and they talked about it because they, uh, the chef, because he was a chef. Now, this nigga no food. Mm -hmm. He's like, I like using processed cheese. Whenever I make these Cause burgers and stuff, because it stays in a in a square. It just tastes. I and mean, because he said if you get like real cheddar cheese, even the little square cheddar cheese, if it's it not breaks, right? It it spreads. Like it it'll melt. Oh. Like, it, 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 it just turns into like like putty. Whatever. Yeah, it turns into like a blob. Yeah. It don't it don't stay together at all. It, and so processed cheese stays together, and part of part of part of the thing that keeps it together is why it burns like that on the open flame. But even chefs say, oh, processed cheese is good because. It stays together when it's you make so stuff. It's so messed up because that video didn't have me think like, well, I always think they're trying to kill us anyway. I was just like, I'm going to eat what I want. I, I kind of watch and, what and, I and, eat. That's all started because of McDonald's. Yeah, what happened to McDonald's? McDonald's? The, the supersized me? Yeah, well, not supersized me, but when they started uh, burning stuff, like the, the, the patties and the buns, whatever, and they wouldn't burn. They wouldn't uh, catch fire. They wouldn't burn? No. Yeah, and they don't, and they don't degrade over time and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, because like you putting this stuff in your body. That's why I people start eating at McDonald's. They like you putting this stuff in your body. So do they, burn, do they burn now? Uh, I think they started using real meat, but I don't, I don't, I don't like, I can't call it. I don't know. Yeah, because it was like somebody had said like a burger out for weeks or whatever, and it was still the same burger and stuff like that. Because of the, the different chemicals in it, whatever. Which, which, like I say, for that, I understand. Because it was like, yeah, if this doesn't break down over time naturally, then how's it supposed to break down in your body? Ooh. Yeah. And so that's why people get getting fat and all this stuff on McDonald's and fast food, processed foods like that. Yeah. And it makes sense. But like I was saying, like, I think the reason those videos work, and, not, and I'm not just talking about the food videos. I'm talking about any of them, like a lot of the conspiracy videos. A lot of, yeah, you're right. A lot of them conspiracy videos, they work because people don't fucking pay attention in, in high school. Like if y'all just paid attention to your history class. It's like I look at them, but I ain't gonna lie, I'll be like, I ask more questions. Like I don't always go with like, that. Yeah, right. uh, and I think that's good. And I don't think that it's wrong because to watch it. Because probably video. some shit that I'd already be doing, I'd be like, I ain't stop doing. I'm not gonna stop doing it right. until I ask more questions. Like, mm. it, it's good to be informed. So I don't. I wouldn't say don't watch them, but I think if you should watch them again with all of the advice we talked about, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. And if you if you take that, and so it's okay to there, eat your cheese. Yeah, it's okay to eat processed cheese, so, coconut syrup. Like coconut syrup. You know all of that. So. At the end of the day, it ain't all facts, Ashley. Facts. <laughs> facts. All right, so I'm so confident too. Yeah, she, be... she said it hard the first time. She said, I'm not facts. Oh, that's how you got to say it. Because it's whatever. Say I, facts, Bible. Well, 
Well, and that just kind of goes to when we started the podcast, mm-hmm. just because you don't, just because you say shit loud, don't make it facts. Don't make it facts. Right. You gotta say it loud. No. Man, you, say, that, you say that, it that, loud, that's, that's, you gotta be confident when you say it. You can't be like, yeah. I bullshit people all day at work. I'll be dead wrong. Yeah, no. Like, and uh, anything you say with, and that's why all of that shit works. Because yeah, you say it with confidence. You gotta say it with yeah. confidence. Like, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I'll be wrong. Dead the fuck wrong. But it's facts. Facts. Alright. Anybody got anything else for me on that? No. No. Oh, I want to shout out to, uh, you know, the Social Complex and Egos and Queens. Oh, yeah. We went to the event yesterday. Well, well, I guess it was Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So we went to Taco Tuesday and it was a good look. So I've met a whole bunch of podcasts out there. I don't want to name them all because I feel like I miss somebody and I don't want to leave them out. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we're we going to be collaborating, talking to all the different podcasts we've met out there. So it's a, it's yeah, not awesome a good event. thing going on in Houston. So I want to shout out to them for that. Um, I also want to shout out to uh, Single in the Loop, who's having their live show on June 30th at yes. Robbie's from yeah. 12 to 3. We'll be stopping by there. Uh, the brunch is that day. Brunch is that day, June the 30th. We're going to swing by there. It's my birthday, June 27th. Yeah, Ashley's birthday, June 27th. No, we so, gonna... so make sure y'all come by brunches. You know what I'm saying? We can have a section and yeah. party Turn with Ashley. We're going to do a little bit of everything. And then yeah. we, you know, we got trips coming up, everything. Woo! Yeah. Turn up. It's going down. Yeah, so, yeah, I just wanted to get them announcements out of the way. Do we have any other announcements? I don't think that's. I, I, got, I got hip pain. That ain't no damn. I think, I think we did that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as always, <laughs> we hope you laughed a little, learned a lot. We hope they have helped you find the remedy, whatever's troubling you. This is What's the Remedy Podcast. All right, y'all. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Are you-